was in the process of discussing domestic matters with a girlfriend. During that discussion, something went terribly wrong. He shot a 15-year-old girl that was in the residence at the time that is not his daughter. She's the daughter of the deceased woman that, that lived at that location. He then shot the woman at that location. She's been since pronounced. She's 32 years old. He left that scene. He fled that scene in the vehicle that you see here. And it's a blue view with Illinois license plates. That description was broadcast citywide to all of the officers and we immediately started the search for that vehicle. Simultaneously, there were three other children involved in this, within this relationship. Two young children that were at a daycare center, which was immediately put on lockdown, and we dispatched officers to that daycare center to provide for the safety of the children there. And another 11-year-old who was at a, a nearby school, and we dispatched officers there. Officers saw this vehicle in the area where we are now, and at Newstead and Lee, they deployed spike strips, which deflated the tires in an effort to stop the vehicle. The vehicle turned down a street, which is barricaded at one end, and with nowhere to go, the vehicle began to back up. As it began to back up, the suspect pointed a gun out of the rear view, out of the rear window of the vehicle. And at that time, the officers that were following the vehicle exited their vehicle and took defensive positions, and fearing that the individual was about to shoot at them, began firing at that suspect. Their shot stuck, struck that suspect, and he was pronounced here at the scene, and we're continuing the investigation. Name? Dave. Oh, it's in on the on part of the investigation, and once next of kin, like we normally do, are notified, we will make that information available. Do you have people around here, relatives? Okay, and that's part of the ongoing investigation. Did the suspect ever get a shot fired off? That's part of our investigation. The officers at the time saw the gun pointed at them. They took defensive positions, and they're unsure if there were any shots fired at them. How many officers were involved up here? There were two officers that were assigned to a detail in the area that saw the vehicle. They were in plain clothes, but had uniforms or uh, jackets on that quickly identified them as police officers, and they were immediately behind the vehicle. So two officers were shot uh, at the subject in his vehicle. What can you tell us about the deceased in terms of whether there's a previous record or anything? We're looking at that as part of the investigation, and it appears that this is an ongoing domestic issue that was there. We're checking to see if there were any orders of protection in play and to see what his criminal history is and if it all be affected or not. The two kids in the daycare and the one at the grade school, were any of those his children? The two children at the daycare center, uh, at this point of our investigation, appear to be his with the deceased victim uh, in common. The other child seems to be from another relationship. And was the other child a sibling of the... Uh... 15 year old that was shot? It appears to at this point, yes, they were. They, they had the mother in common. Have you heard anything about was the, uh, the, the, the suspect here laid off recently or something like that? Have you heard anything about that? And, and that's part of the investigation. And, and while that information is out there, it still needs to be verified and to see what factor, if any, that played into, into the decision uh, for him to engage in this violent act towards a, a former girlfriend and a 15 year old child, which I, I think. Is really we get back to the root cause about the availability of guns and use of guns in society.